Alright, today we'll be showing you how to make your own elk burgers. Of course, first you'll need to get your elk. You'll want to keep your elk in the freezer until you're ready to make your cuts. And believe it or not, it will actually be easier to make your cuts and, and to uh, clean up the meat when the meat is slightly frozen. So when you're ready to start working with it, uh, pull it out of the freezer, let it thaw for a few hours, uh, but it's still easier to work with when it's slightly frozen. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you can make uh, cleaner cuts that way and clean up the meat a lot easier uh, when it's slightly frozen still. So you want to get all your meat out and let it be thawing for a few hours. Uh, the key is to get the meat off of the bone as soon as you can and then you can start working into more precision cuts from there to get the meat down into sizable chunks to work with for the burgers. Once the meat has had a few hours to thaw, you'll want to cut off all of the excess fat from the elk meat as much as possible and make those cuts into some cubes that we can then work with later. While you're working on your cuts, you're going to find, especially with an elk, that there's some nice cuts, uh, some larger pieces of meat that would make some nice steaks or roasts, uh, just like this one shown right here. Go ahead and set those aside, keep those for steaks or roasts, and cut down the smaller chunks into cubes uh, to use for the burger. Next you'll want to get a pork shoulder and cut those into cubes of similar size and have a mixture of two-thirds elk to one-third pork uh, in the grinder. So as you're working with the grinder, just remember two-thirds elk, one-third pork. And as you're processing the meat through the grinder, make sure that the pork and the elk are distributed so that you keep that consistency of two-thirds elk and the one-third pork. So you give it, get an even mixture in your batch. Once you've processed the meat through the grinder, grab some vacuum sealable bags and work the burger into the bags into some nice serving sizes. People may ask, do you really need a vacuum sealable bag or can you get by with a Ziploc bag? Well, it, freezer burns common in Ziploc bags and they just will never have that tight of seal and keep your burgers fresh. So I would recommend the vacuum sealable bags. Once you have the burger in the bag, it's ready to be vacuum sealed. Um, so you can put it in a vacuum sealer machine like this. And when you press vacuum and seal, It'll do two things. It will vacuum uh, the air out of the package as well as make a nice seal uh, to seal off any air from coming in. You can see there it's uh, sealing it and vacuuming at the same time. Uh, once that completes, you're ready to go. Uh, it can be put in the freezer or if you're ready to have it within a few days, put it in the fridge. Uh, before we do that, though, we're going to go ahead and mark it. And we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed how to make an elk burger. Well, I'm hungry now, so let's eat.